Hey everyone, welcome to Jambolina's World. Today we're doing Topic Tuesday. This week's Topic Tuesday is about birthday polishes, whether it be polishes we wear on our birthdays, polishes we might wear for other people's birthdays, but I'm going to be sharing some of the polishes that I've been wearing for my past birthdays, as well as some of the picks that I feel would make perfect party polishes. So for me, I kind of got back into polish back in November 2021, and the first manicure that I wore was a month after my birthday. So this one is my first Manny back into the polish world. This one is Olive and June's Lilac Shimmer. I really do love this polish and I just went over it with a little sharpie to give it a little Mandela design. I know that's not a birthday polish but that was my first polish that I wore kind of getting back into polish and since it was like a month after my birthday I'm just gonna count it. And then moving into the next year we have 2022. I actually wore two polishes on this birthday. I changed my polish on this birthday. I was wearing KB Shimmers. It's under the sauce. And this one was a Polish and Beauty Expo exclusive for 2022. So I was excited to get this on my nails. It's super pretty, shifty. It's got some reflective glitters, a lot going on. And it's very fall toned with like a pinky shimmer. It even has hollow, so it's got a lot going on. This is kind of what I wore during the day. I remember the day pretty vividly. Me and grandma ended up going to the mall. We went to Sephora and a couple other things. And then in the evening, we all got together for dinner. So I changed my polish midday after our shopping trip. I came home unloaded. She went back to her place. We kind of got ready and then we all went out as a family for dinner. And then I wore Great Lakes Lacquer Mermaids Revisited. Now this is a polish that I actually recently sold and these more rare polishes do fetch quite the price tag. So I was really surprised at what I got for this polish. This is a very beautiful polish. It has hollow elements and it does have that like gold to green to pink type of shimmer that I really, really enjoy but it is a teal, more blue leaning teal base. And I have pulled away from wearing dark blue polishes so much. Like I really just don't wear them. So I figured I could pass this to somebody who would love it. Although it is a beautiful formula and it had some really pretty sparkly hollow in there, which I wasn't really expecting. And then the shimmer almost gave it like a glazed metallic -y chrome look. Definitely a really fun polish. I don't know much about it but I no longer have that one in my possession. It did make for a fun Manny when I tried it though. And moving into 2023's Manny's, this was another day that I actually changed my Manny again. For some reason, I don't really remember that birthday as much, but I do remember wearing Cabin Fever by China Glaze. This is such a fun fall tone polish that also has kind of a pinky shimmer. It is like a bronzy or orangey, like burnt orangey type of color, but it goes from like a gold to an orange to a pink with the shimmer within the polish. So it's definitely a really nice fun one and it has kind of a multi-chrome look. So this is an oldie but goodie that I definitely pull for during fall and I happen to be wearing it on my 2023 birthday and I ended up changing my Manny to BKL's Only You Can Decide What Breaks You. This is such a shifty polish. It is like a pink glowy polish but it does have like a golden shimmer that does shift into a green and into blue at extreme angles. Such a pretty one. Another one that almost gave like a metallic-y look with those kind of larger particle shimmer particles really really pretty in the light you mostly just see the pink but at the extreme angle here you get that little hint of green it's just such a fun one so this is what i ended up changing into but that kind of gets you up to date we'll see what i end up wearing for my 2024 birthday i don't really have anything in mind however i did just pull a little handful of polishes that i felt like would make perfect party polishes. First up, I've got a couple toppers. I have Turn It Up by Orly. This one is just a confetti topper. It just has like all these different colors of hex glitters. And then it has those really small white hex glitters to kind of break up all the colors. 
but they're just so bright and fun. I feel like this would make a great topper over any cream. And the next one is actually called Party Time by the LA Colors Glitter Vibes line. This one has like metallic large hex glitters in varying colors and I feel like again this one would be cool over any cream. I also have one of my most recent Corellis to my collection. This one is Sweet and Sour Lacquers. I want my MTV. This one is such a cool polish. I really love the colors of the glitters they used in this one and it definitely does give me that super retro feel. Any white Corelli with a bunch of colorful glitters is gonna give me party polish vibes. So I also pulled this next one, which is Pinnacle Polish Go Up. This one was actually a polish pickup exclusive, but it's a white curly base with a bunch of fun glitters in there. So definitely a party polish in my eyes. Next up, I have a Caloris to Carol polish that I've always felt is such a party polish. This is so fun and it was made for the holidays so it gives that really festive vibe but there's enough color in here that I feel like really it could be used for any fun occasion. This one was also a polish pickup polish. This one was back from November 2022. This is a reflective formula so those really bright glitters do shine really brightly in the light and this one is called All is Bright by Caloris to Carol. A fun Crelly that is not a white Crelly is by Crucible Designs. This one has some beautiful flakies as well as some really bright pink glitters. And it looks like those flakies give a really beautiful gold shimmer. There is some micro black fleck in here, but this is just such a pretty polish. I love the tone too, kind of a sea foamy green with those bright aspects to kind of contrast with that. This one is called Flip Flops and Lollipops by Crystal Designs. I have an all mixed up lacquers here. This is another white Crelly with all the glitters and flakes. There's like metallic shards, there's glitters, so, so much going on. I love their garbage sink polishes where they throw everything in but the kitchen sink. It is just so fun and different. And this one just has a lot of color going on and the metallic flakes gives them something sparkly. This one is called Pain in My Bum and this actually came from a smaller pre-order box. This is from Smidgen of Us box, which is a smaller indie pre-order box that I just love to shop from. You get all kinds of cute, unique items like this one and I just love this polish. I actually wore this for Easter a year or two ago and just really love the formula and the way it builds up. And last but not least, I have Beach Hair Don't Care by Crucible Designs. This one has some really fun and pretty like seafoam green into blue type of flakies. They do shift. This also has that little black fleck to break up the colors, and it's in such a fun bubblegum pink type of base. I love polishes like this, and I love the contrast that the flakes and the base give. But there are some picks for party polishes that I feel like would be really great on birthdays, as well as other fun festive celebrations. And then of course, here are the few polishes that I have worn on my birthdays that are still in my collection. I've really been loving these Topic Tuesday topics. They're so fun and different. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely let me know by hitting that like. And if you'd like more content like this, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. But that's it for this one, and I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.